Yellow Neal syndrome. It was first described in 1964 by two London physicians, Peter Summon and William White. It's a rare presentation. Hardly around 150 cases have been described in the medical literature. Females are more often involved and the median age group was around 40 years of age. However, with cases ranging from infancy to 7th decade. So how is it presented? As this picture shows, it's a triad. Picture shows yellow nail. Yellow thick dystrophic nail is present. Presence of lymphedema of the lower extremities or also of the upper extremities. And this x-ray showing pleural effusion. Presence of two or more characters is suggestive of yellow nail syndrome. Other features which is associated with uh, yellow nail syndrome is recurrent sinusitis and lower respiratory tract infection. Almost half of the patient have a bronchiectasis. It's also been associated with some drugs penicillamine. The presumed etiology for the syndrome is ciliary dysfunction or it can be due to abnormal lymphatic structure or deficient immunoglobin production or increased vascular permeability. You can remember it as CLIP. How is it diagnosed? First, basically on the symptoms of triad of uh, lymphedema, pleural effusion and yellow nails. Second, on the PFT, which can show an obstructive pattern. If patient has an effusion, it will show a restrictive effusion, uh, character. This effusion on analysis, it can be exudative in nature. About 30% of the effusion are chylus, which, which means chylothorax. And on analysis of lymphogram, it can show that both are underdeveloped or hypoplastic lymphatic ducts and dilated ducts can be present. So how do you treat this syndrome? You have to treat it symptomatically, treat it for uh, bronchiectasis, pleural effusion and underlying conditions. And uh, as of now, the nutritional supplementation, with, especially with vitamin E, is found to be beneficial. Thank you.